I'm Jordan, and you're not. So before tonight's review, let's talk a little bit about sequels, specifically sequel number five. What do we know about number five? Most of them suck. Don't believe me? Let's talk about Halloween five. It's it sucks, but it does have a pretty cool cover. Nightmare on Elm Street five. It sucks. Nothing like the original. But it's Yep, nope, not good. Uh, Saw 5. It's generic, bland. It has a pretty decent ending, though. Uh, what else? Children of the Corn 5, Leprechaun 5, Seed of Chucky. They're all nowhere near as good as the original. So, someone said that the sequels aren't really meant to be good movies. They're just meant to cash in on a franchise, knowing that horror fans are so really want horror movies that they'll, they'll go see it. So, now let's talk about the Final Destination series. <clears throat> you got the first one, Final Destination. It's about a... What is this about? Plane crash. Uh, what's his name? Alex? Yeah, Alex foresees a, uh, the Flight 180. It's gonna crash. Then he gets all his friends off the plane and in time, then suddenly death starts to come and kill them all. So, now we have Final Destination 2. It's kind of a shiny cover. The traffic wreck with, um, what's her name? Okay, well, yeah, Clear Rivers is back. She was in the first one, so she kind of helps the new group try to help beat death with the help of Bloodworth, Tony Todd, and, uh, yeah. This is just really going really quick. I'm not really reviewing these. Then we have Final Destination 3. See that? Kind of like a shiny cover. Roller coaster. So, Wendy sees the, the roller coaster is going to crash, and she tries to help her friends get off. Hardly anyone believes her, but friends get off, and they end up starting to die because of death. Then we have the final destination, which I don't have it. I have everything else, but not that one. So the final destination was the fourth one, and apparently it's not the final one because they made Final Destination five. Why do why did you know they do that? They say oh it's going to be the final one, then they had, they make it like more. It's like a it's almost kind of like the Fast and the Furious title, you know. The Fast and the Furious was the first one, and they did the fourth one just Fast and Furious. But this review isn't about those other movies. This is about Final Destination 5. And I can say that it's easily one of the best in the series. It's not bland. It's not... Any of those other things I said earlier, it's not... Cheesy. Well, it is kind of... There's a few cheesy things, but it's, it's really awesomely epic. From the first, you know, the opening credits are, you know... Looks like they're, you know... It was in 3D... And it just looks like, you know, death is coming at you right in the face. Ooh, that sounds disturbing. Forget I said that. But, okay, so glass and just logs and just stuff is coming at you in 3D. It looks like you're about to get, about to die. You're going to die. All right, so <clears throat> Tony Todd is back as Bloodworth. He was in one and two as Bloodworth. He was in the third one, he, but he was like the voice of some kind of, like the devil in the uh, the theme park, so I don't really count Tony Todd as being in that movie as Bloodworth. So Bloodworth is in one, two, and five. Three. He's in Bloodworth is in three of them. Well, I wish he could have been in the fourth one. That would have made it better. So this time, what the new guy Sam is his name, I believe. He sees that the bridge is going to collapse, and so he they try to get off. He's trying to get all his friends, ex girlfriend, off the. You know, out of the bus and off the bridge, and they try to, you know, get away. They so they get away, and they, you know, cheat death for now. Then the next, you know, few days, death comes for them, like Bloodworth always says. Has some pretty gruesome, gory death scenes, like uh, at the ballet studio or whatever, and the spa with the. Uh, there's a few. There's a few funny scenes also. Like, it has David Koishner, you know, he's kind of like a bald guy, 
I'm still on the fence about David Kushner being in a Final Destination movie. I mean, I like him. He's funny, but I just don't think he belongs in a horror movie. That's like putting Will Ferrell in a Halloween movie or Danny McBride in Friday the 13th or something. I don't know. But he's, he wasn't too bad. He was sort of funny, but not just like a few comic relief moments. And it kind of goes back, you know, Final Destination 5 goes back to like the roots of the original and how it kind of has like an annoying cop who's always thinking that the lead has something to do with people's deaths and stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, there's one death scene that was pretty, kind of had me cringing. It's the laser eye surgery death. You know, the only, like, the only death, you know, well, in the, the trilogy, the first three, the only death I really cringed at was when uh, Ashley and Ashland were in the tanning bed, you know, in Final Destination 3, and they just pretty much burned alive, and that made me cringe because of fire. That and Then on this one, Final Destination 5, it just, the whole laser eye thing just kind of, it just kind of gets to me. So, Bl they, Bloodworth tells them that, you know, in order to cheat death, you kind of have to take someone's life. So, maybe one of them might try to s still, you know, kill someone if they'll get their years or their lives or something. So, if I'm ever in a car accident and I survive and I kill someone, I'm going to live forever. Mm. So, in all, I would give this movie an A because it's really one of the best in the Final Destination series. It doesn't feel, it just feels right. It just feels one of, like it's one of the previous ones, except the fourth one. Fourth one's not as good. Uh, there's a twist ending also. It's a shocking twist ending that they kind of mentioned, like they kind of foreshadowed, kind of give clues throughout the whole movie to kind of tell you what what's going to happen. But I really want to tell you. So there's going to be some spoilers. So if you don't want this movie spoiled for you, you haven't seen it, so just go away. Give me positive feedback and say you liked my review anyway. So these are for the people that have seen it or or still want to see it, but they want to get the movie spoiled for them. I'll just give you a clue. In Saw 5, Jigsaw says 5 will become 1. Think about that. Do you get it? Five will become one. Get it? If you've seen the movie, you'll get it. And if you've seen the Saw movies, you'll know what I'm talking about. This, oh, and it has the best ending credits in the whole series. It's really awesome. They give, like, a, they show, like, a little montage of every death scene in the series, and they play some song. I don't really know who sings it. It might be ACDC or something. I don't, I don't know. It's, really, it's a really awesome song and they play it during the end credits showing everyone's death. It's like really the, one of the best ending scenes or ending credits ever in a horror series. Like they should have did that with the Saw or Saw 3D or whatever. Or like, like, I don't know. So I don't really see how they're going to do Final Destination 6 or 7. They act like they're going to do 6 and 7 back to back. I don't see how they can because because five becomes one. All right, so yeah, as I said, I give this movie a solid A because it's, you know, it's a really awesome sequel. I guess I'll be I wore my skeleton my skeleton shirt for my Final Destination review. Oh, and Bloodworth, you know Tony Todd, this character, he doesn't really. You know, they act like he has a bigger part this time, but he's only in maybe, like, an extra scene or two. He doesn't really say too much. Like, he's just there just to be Bloodworth, because he says some awesome dialogue. All right. Well, I guess that'll do. Uh, I got a flight to catch. I'm going to a theme park. I'm going to ride this awesome roller coaster, and I'm going to, afterward, I'm going to go see a race car, a race, so it's going to be great. I uh, hope oh, nothing bad happened to me.